Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to be going over my top five favorite dynamic mics for Twitch streaming, with one honorable mention. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, starting with my number one favorite dynamic mic of all time, the Shure SM7B. SM7B is one of the greatest mics ever created. It was actually used by Michael Jackson to record the album Thriller, and it's rightfully so because it's got some insane specs and the sound is just beautiful. This is probably one of the widest used dynamic microphones on the market. I mean, it's used in professional broadcasts, on Twitch, radio stations. It's literally used everywhere. People use this microphone to sing with. I mean, it's one of the biggest and most legendary microphones on the planet currently. And the frequency response of this thing is right around 50 to 20,000 hertz. It's a dynamic capsule, of course. It's just incredible. And it's probably, it holds a very near and dear place in my heart because it is literally the legendary microphone. This is probably one of the microphones that really got dynamics on the map, which is one of the reasons why it's so great for broadcasting. It's got great rear rejection. It's got a great tonality to it. And it's really fitting for pretty much any voice. It's got a nice neutral tone, which means Anybody that has any sort of voice, male, female, high, low, whatever, this is gonna fit your fit you and suit your needs. Just keep in mind, this mic does require a little bit more power than any of the other mics on this list. So you will need a good interface, mixer, and a preamp to drive this bad boy. All right, coming in at number two is the legendary Electro Voice RE20. This is one of the most popular broadcast mics on the market, and rightfully so. It's got a great frequency range, 45 hertz to 18,000 hertz. Not as rich as the Shure SM7B, it doesn't hit that 20,000 hertz threshold, but not many voices can go that high anyways. So as a broadcast mic, this also has fantastic rear injection. I would say this one has better rear injection than the SM7B. This is a very professional broadcast mic. This is this mic is probably used in more radio stations and professional broadcasts around the world than any other microphone. Electro Voice kind of prides themselves on being the go-to broadcast style microphone. They're really one of the other legendary microphone manufacturers out there, and this would be right at home on any Twitch stream. This microphone is a little easier to drive than SM7B, but just like any dynamic, you will need a decent preamp from an interface or a mixer to be able to drive the capsule. Coming in at number three, the microphone you're listening to right now, the Rode Procaster. The Rode Procaster is probably my favorite microphone on this list, simply because I own one, and from the simple fact that it's one of the cheaper professional grade dynamics out there. This one retails right around $249, whereas the other ones on this list retail closer to the $400 to $450 range. Still got a great tonality to it. It's got the same frequency response as some of the other ones. It hits that 18,000 hertz threshold, but the bass roll off on the bottom end is at 75 hertz. Still fits a ton of different voices and has that nice broadcast tonality to it. And the build quality on this thing is insane. Yet again, you will need a decent preamp to drive this microphone. And also, it has a little feature to it that a lot of the other ones don't. Built-in shock mount and built-in pop filter. So you don't really need to go out and buy an extra windsock or any of that other stuff because it's already there. So guys, coming in at number four on this list is another microphone from Electro Voice. This is the RE320. RE320 is one of my all-time favorite microphones and one that I almost purchased over top of the Rode Procaster, but I went with the Procaster for different needs. The RE320 is kind of like the Procaster in a lot of ways. Build quality, tonality, it's a little bit brighter. It favors the upper end and airiness of the frequency range, but it's still a very popular broadcast style microphone. It's got a frequency response of 45 hertz to 18,000 hertz. And if you use the kick drum curve, it brings that bass response down to 30 hertz. This is also another microphone that's used in radio stations around the world and one that will be right at home for your Twitch broadcast. There again, it will need a decent preamp gain from your interface, but it's not as hot as the other microphones on this list. So that's something to kind of take into effect when purchasing your microphone. Coming in at number five and rounding out the list, I do have one honorable mention coming up though. 
the legendary Shure SM57. This is probably the most popular microphone in the entire world and one that is rightfully so. SM57 is probably the toughest mic on the planet and it's a go-to for road going musicians, broadcasters, radio stations around the world simply because its tone is amazing. Its off-axis rejection is incredible and the microphone literally costs only $99. A very simple microphone. Sure has been making this one for years. I literally think it's been around for 50 or more years and it's the microphone that started it all. This and the SM58 are the ones that started it all and it's a dynamic. It's the microphone. There's nothing else to say about it. Frequency response doesn't go as high as the others. It only hits 16,000 hertz but that still doesn't take away from the fact that this microphone is incredible. And if you're a starting streamer, this is one of the microphones you need to take a look at before purchasing any of the others on this list. I actually have a review of this microphone. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now, my runner up, this is kind of tied with number five, but it is the honorable mention of the entire list. This is the Blue Encore 200. I actually own this microphone personally and I use it on the YouTube channel sometimes when I record these very videos. The Encore 200 is a lot like the SM57 in many ways. Very durable, very tough. It's made out of really solid materials and you can toss this thing around and it won't break. And the tonality to it is awesome. It is kind of like the best of both worlds between a dynamic and a condenser. The capsule on this one actually requires 48 volts of phantom power, whereas the other dynamics on this list do not, which makes it a little different. So you will need a interface or a mixer that will supply ample power to the microphone capsule, just like the rest on this list, but make sure you're getting enough 48 volts of phantom power to the microphone capsule. The tonality is great. The build quality is fantastic. And honestly, one of my favorite mics on this list, but I still don't think it's as good or as legendary as the SM57. That's just my personal take. I still think the SM57 favors the lower tonality, which fits my voice a little bit better. But the Encore 200 will be right at home on any new streamer stream, especially because the price, you can grab this thing for right around 80 bucks on Amazon. So definitely give the Encore 200 my runner-up pick on this list and uh it's an awesome mic so there you have it guys that's my top five best dynamic microphones for twitch with a runner-up that's one little caveat to the video that is my top five picks for dynamic microphones for twitch hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully you go out and pick up one of these awesome mics if you do let me know in the comment section i want to know which one you guys went with if you guys found this video helpful be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe before you guys leave the video today. I would super appreciate it. If you want to follow myself or True Gaming on any of our social medias, be sure to check all of those links in the description below and come hang out with me on stream sometime. Let's talk tech and have a little fun playing Anthem. But guys, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. My shadow out.